hello everyone welcome to another video session class so today we will study about streptomycin first okay so streptomycin is an antibiotic okay the class of chemical it is aminoglycoside antibiotic okay aminoglycoside and we are studying under this one under heading of anti tuber drugs so it is anti tubercular drugs that is it is used again tuberculosis okay anti tubercular drugs okay so streptomycin is first isolated by waxman and his co-worker in the year in 1944 from streptomyces streptomyces griseus okay so it is obtained from a culture of this bacteria streptomycin okay and it is a class of aminoglycoside glycoside antibiotic so next directly we will go with the properties it is colorless then it is odorless it is bitter in taste okay so it is colorless it is odorless then it is bitter in taste the next property we'll see about the solubility solubility profile it is soluble in water okay so it is easily soluble in water then it is insoluble in alcohol then chloroform and ether so this is about its solubility profile okay okay the next this streptomycin it is available in trihydro chloride and trihydrochloride hydrochloride sulfate form okay sulfate form and another characteristic it is hygroscopic hygroscopic and as well as deliquescent so hygroscopic e s e n t so hygroscopic means the compound which absorb moisture from the atmosphere but it does not uh, liquefied but this one is deliquescent means it absorbs moisture from the atmosphere and it will itself it will itself liquefy okay and next if we do acid hydrolysis acid hydrolysis of this streptomycin we will get streptidine 
स्टेप्टीन प्लस स्टेप्टो बायोसमिन ओके एंड दिस स्टेप्टो बायोसमिन इज द मिक्सचर ऑफ एल स्टेप्टोस एल स्टेप्टोस प्लस और एन मिथाइल एल ग्लूकोसमिन ओके ग्लूकोसमिन सो दिस इज द एल स्टेप्टोस एन मिथाइल एल ग्लूकोसमिन सो दिस इज द कंपोजिशन ऑफ दिस स्टेप्टोबायोसमिन सो इफ यू डू एसिड हाइड्रोलाइसिस ऑफ दिस स्टेप्टोमाइसिन व्हाट विल गेट स्टेप्टिडिन प्लस स्टेप्टो बायोसमिन ओके सो नेक्स्ट वी विल सी व्हाट आर द यूजेस सो यूजेस ऑफ दिस स्टेप्टोमाइसिन इट इज यूज्ड एज एंटी tubercular then it is used for plague then along with tetracycline plus the streptomycin it is used for used for brucellosis brucellosis okay so it is one type of infection uh, which is common to both animal and human being and this is mainly transferred by drinking infected milk of animals okay then along with penicillin penicillin along with streptomycin streptomycin it is used for used for penicillin and streptomycin used for endocarditis okay endocarditis so these are the uses of this streptomycin so next what are the formulations or preparations so formulations streptomycin streptomycin sulfate as per bp ip that is british pharmacopoeia and uh, indian pharmacopoeia okay then streptomycin streptomycin sulfate injection injection as per british pharmacopoeia okay then streptomycin sulfate ip not sulfate tablet directly ip then dihydro streptomycin dihydro streptomycin sulfate ip then okay so these are the mainly available formulation of this streptomycin okay so next we will see brands so brands i will give some and you have to rest you have to study from the book and also from internet so sesquio sulfate okay sesquio sulfate then agri strep then streptorex Septo, Rex, etc. Okay, so rest you study from the book. Okay, and remember this streptomycin is not degraded by light and as well as from the atmospheric air. Okay, so you have to remember this one. 
so this is all about streptomycin so next we will study about rifampicin okay rifampicin rifampicin so it is also anti tubercular drug okay so this semi synthetic in nature okay so let us go to properties it is odorless okay then it is having brick red to reddish brown in color okay so it is odorless it is having brick red to reddish brown in color and it is crystalline powder okay so it is odorless it is having brick red to reddish brown in color then it is crystalline powder so next about the melting point another property important property melting point so its melting points its melting point ranges from 183 degree celsius to 188 degree celsius okay and about next so this is the melting point about the solubility solubility so it is very slightly soluble in water very slightly soluble in water okay then it is freely soluble in chloroform okay so it is so about the solubility it is very slightly soluble in water then it is freely soluble in chloroform okay next it is soluble in next property also about solubility it is soluble in ethyl acetate ethyl acetate then methanol and also in thf okay that is tetra hydrofuran so one type of solvent so this is about the solubility okay so this are the properties and one thing you remember it is deuter ion in nature so what is deuter ion so in a compound if there are two charges are available there is positive charge and negative charge in separate position that ion is known as deuter ion okay so it is deuter ion next about uses so it is used as antibacterial agent anti antibacterial agent okay it is used as anti tubercular agent almost same tubercular agent then this rifampicin rifampicin plus isoniazid okay so these two in combination used as used for pulmonary pulmonary tuberculosis tuberculosis okay then uh this for nasal carriage nasal carriers of nasaria 
meningi meningitis it is also used okay so these are the main uses so next after use we will see about the formulations okay so what are the available formulations as per ip bp or usp so first rifampicin bp then another is as per british pharmacopeia rifampicin sodium so in sodium salt it is also available as per bp then rifampicin rifam pisin capsule as per usp okay united pharma united state pharmacopeia then rifam pisin plus isoniazid capsule in the capsule form isoniazid capsule as per united state pharmacopeia so these are the formulations of this rifam pisin okay so next what are the brands so brands we will see some of the brands i will give and rest you have study uh, you study from books okay rifa okay then rifadin then rifaldazine then rifamycin ampule so these are the different brands of this rifampicin and last the storage condition storage conditions so keep it store in store at below 15 degree celsius temperature and store it store it store it protected from light okay so it is having light degradation property okay so light may degrade this rifampicin drug okay so this much for today so i hope you have understood uh, thank you